Okay, I'm going to make a little uh, quote-unquote carnivore pudding, more or less. Uh, this is for those that want to uh, expand their diet a little bit. Uh, for you guys that don't do well with sweeteners or stuff like that, don't make it. Don't don't bother. You know, for people that can 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 have a small amount of sweetness and not go off the rails and turn into a binge. So, I will uh, show you the ingredients and I'll, I'll I'll show you how to do this real quick. It's pretty easy. So, hang on just a sec. Okay, so it's getting some ingredients ready, so I'm going to be doing all this one-handed, so I've kind of got everything prepared for things I need two hands for. And so, uh, ingredients, so already in the, in the blender uh, are a dozen eggs, and I've got six tablespoons of fat. Uh, you can use uh, tallow. In this case, I'm using lard today. I know some people will be worried about polyunsaturated fats, uh, but uh, I'm not as concerned about that. Uh, I'll add uh, to this, I'll add a little bit of salt here, just you know, to help with the flavor a little bit. This is, I'm using this red and real salt stuff. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of vanilla in there, just uh, just about a, oh, you know, eyeball, about a uh, teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to use a sweetener. Uh, I'm using this uh, monk fruit, so a couple, you know, a few, you don't need much, just a few, few drops in there. And then to that, I'm going to add some uh, boiling water. So I'm going to, I'm going to boil uh, this water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this cup, which has some gelatin powder in there. So there's some gelatin in there. I'm going to fill the cup up most of the way with uh, uh, you know, water, dissolve it in there, and add that to that. So that allows it to uh, kind of have a nice consistency once it sets up. Um, anyway, this is going to be done in the Vitamix. It's going to make, uh, you know, pretty, two pretty big servings. I eat all this in one day. This is, you know, this is 12 of my eggs that I eat a day lately. Uh, and this is, this probably comes out to about 80% fat by calorie with the added fat in there. So that brings it up to there. And, uh, that's kind of why I do that. I'm choosing not to use dairy as I'm, uh, kind of, uh, staying away from dairy. Uh, I'll be topping it with a little bit of cinnamon, you know, at the top, and then we'll stick it in the uh, fridge overnight. So this is a uh, food for tomorrow, basically. This would be in addition to uh, the eggs, the steak, the sausages I may need on top of that. Again, remember, I'm trying to uh, manage a relatively high-fat version of the carnivore diet right now. All right, so the water is pretty close to boiling. I like these tea kettles. I don't know how much of a tea drinker. And then we'll just fill that up there and dissolve that, uh, that gelatin in, in a decent amount of water. So this probably is, you know, I don't know, a cup and a half or so, you might guess, something like that. You know, you can vary. If you don't have enough water, it's hard to blend because the fat is pretty, uh, pretty viscous, I'd say, and the blender kind of has a problem with that, so adding that water that really helps. And then again, this will be, uh, be a gelatin, and that's going to help your, uh, your little pudding to set up. So anyway, just going to dump this directly on there. There we go. Bring this over to the to the blender here. Let's set that up. I'm doing this stuff one-handed is a little bit of a challenge. I think I can do it. Grab the lid here. It's going to get pretty loud. This takes about a oh, I'd say a, a minute. So I'm going to just turn it on and then I'm going to stop for a second so you guys don't have to hear the noise. So here we go. So it's not too bad actually. So we're getting it in there. Starting to blend. And I'm just going to Back up the intensity. You want it to come out to a fairly smooth consistency, so just kind of gradually increase the uh, speed of the blender. This is the Vitamix, so we can uh, speed that up. Gonna pour it into a couple bowls here now. You could, I mean, you could obviously pour it into smaller, 
smaller bowls. But I mean, the, the main thing is the ratio of eggs to, to fat. It's usually a, uh, uh, you know, two eggs for every tablespoon of fat is what I found works pretty well. I'm going to stop the can for a second so I can scrape out the rest of this into here. Okay, got both bowls filled up. You can see the consistency is a little, yeah, it's a little bit jiggly, relatively smooth. Just going to throw some cinnamon on here. Just sprinkle a bunch on there. I use actually quite a bit, so and it'll all mix in when you when you eat it the next day. So I'm just kind of getting after it. And you can use, you know, like I said, if you want to use pasture-raised hog, you know, tallow or, or uh, you know grass-fed tallow or you know heritage pork. You know, for your for your lard, I mean, you can do that if you're concerned about some of the things. You know, you can't do the sweeteners, and maybe just stick with the vanilla and the cinnamon. Can't do that. You know, well, you know, don't do it. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, that's what it looks like. It's gonna go in the fridge overnight, and it tastes, you know, pretty solid. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best dessert in the world, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not bad. For you guys, try it out and enjoy. It. You can probably make some variations on this. You know, you could probably make a savory version, I suppose, but. Uh, um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think.